What's going on there, Pickers and Grinners? Tom here, and today we're looking at a really cool rhythm trick that Egg King used in a really lesser known Skinnerd song, I Need You. It's the only song the band never played live, believe it or not. And it's got a really cool sound. <laughs> how it just drones on it's got a little bit of a dark edge to it but there's a part in the middle guitar solo that he's doing something really unique that you don't see a lot of and it sounds something like this <laughs> Now, you think about what you could be playing behind rhythm, a lot of people just be playing chords. But what Ed did there was allowed those guitars, in a certain way, it brings out the guitars more than if he was just playing standard chords. So just taking a deeper look at this, what's he doing? Well, he's got A minor chord, and he's got these little double stops, sliding double stops. I don't know the exact name for him, but playing about the same time. And he's playing a C chord, the same thing. And he's got this cool chord right here. Ooh, a little shimmery. This is kind of like a hybrid between your standard major chord right here, but you're taking out the third finger and you're moving that second finger up a string. And you're playing all four notes down from that D string through the E string. Sounds pretty shimmery, especially with a Strat and a tremolo. Now this is a $75 guitar, but I don't think it sounds half bad. I did, it's the only Strat I got on me right now that has a tremolo arm. <laughs> this really cool chord walk down. Ooh. You thought you knew Egg King until you heard this song that nobody knows about because it's never played. It's never been played. We've got this D7 shape. We're playing it on the B and the G and the D strings. And then we've got another chord here which is kind of like your A shape. Like you're playing, but moving that up to the seventh fret here. That sounds like uh, that song by Kiss, but. And then we got some bar chords here. Take, this is the tough part, taking this ring out note and moving into this shape. So it's like this. That intro. So it's this note right here. This little movable shape. That was tough for me at first because I wasn't used to taking a chord and moving it down like that. Usually it's easier to go like this. But doing it backwards, you really gotta hit this bar chord nice and clean to get it to ring out. So that putting it all together, and then the next time around he's going to reverse the order. There's a D7 
seven shape, same way we played. Do it up two frets. And then we've got that same chord we did here. We're doing it up here on the 12th fret now. So. Then we got a bar chord. And we're doing the same thing we did here. Just up an octave. So how many tricks have we got here? I don't know, seven, eight, ten? Like, just moving these chords around is something you don't see very often. Moving it up. Oh, I love that. Now, I'd love it if you play with me. So break out your guitar and let's just go through it right now. Tone. So I hope you all enjoyed this little trick. Ed King's got many of them up his sleeve and I'd love to talk more about them in a future episode. But go out there, try this one. It's a tough one when you do that first and it's gonna sharpen your chord playing ability, those fast movable chord shapes, and it gives you some more variety. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next episode.